Subscribe if you enjoy the video. With Valheim releasing on the Microsoft Store, availability on the PC Game Pass and soon the Xbox Game Pass is sure to have some new players trickling in for the adventure. And even if you're a returning player, there are definitely some tricks you haven't yet seen. So here are 50 plus of my most helpful tips to accompany you on your Valheim journey. Let's get into it. Swing your axe at clusters of trees to chop multiple down at once. Be careful of falling logs as they don't always fall where you might expect them to. Replant trees on hillsides to create a domino effect when chopping them down later. A falling log will cause damage to itself and other logs it hits, resulting in less work and faster wood gathering. Standing under trees can provide cover from the elements. Workbenches prevent creatures spawn and item despawn within their radius. Only actual roof tiles protect campfires or workstations from the elements and provide shelter. Placing floors above will not provide the same effect. Repairing equipment and buildings is cost-free. Sitting down when building can give you a better angle for snap points. Be wary at night as enemy spawn rates are increased. A torch can be held out at the same time as some weapons, making it useful during night combat. Light sources like the campfire and torch repel grey dwarves and boars. Multiple cooking stations can be placed over a singular campfire. Coal can be made from burning food. While sleeping, crops grow or smelt and coal is made. Most melt deposits span deep into the ground, so don't make the mistake of mining too shallow. Mining around and under a vein of metal will eventually cause the entire node to collapse. Pickaxes do much more damage when hitting ores directly below you, opposed to from the sides. Use the pickaxe when scaling steep mountains to create a divot to stand on and recover stamina. Large creatures such as the troll can be used to cut down trees or even mine ore. Pre-constructed buildings found throughout the land can be destroyed for bonus resources. The hoe will flatten the terrain to match the level of ground you're currently standing on. Holding shift while using the hoe will flatten the ground to the level you're currently pointing at. You can use the hoe to create natural barriers to protect your base as these barriers cannot be damaged by creatures. Aiming at the top of your natural wall is much more cost effective when constructing it as the hoe will only consume 2 stone but build the entire height of the wall. Hold shift when placing a boat to have the ability to place it on land. Boats can be used as sleds to traverse down mountains. The easiest way to dock your boat is to jump off of it. No matter the speed, your boat will always come to a complete stop as soon as you get off. Create a portal to your spawn, this way you can switch boss powers quickly and without hassle. Capital letters in portal names do matter. Portals with the same name will not connect if capital letters in each portal name are not identical. Press Ctrl plus F3 or Ctrl plus Alt plus F3 to disable the HUD, making for a more immersive experience, or for taking screenshots. Your bow typically doesn't shoot exactly where you aim. Instead, aim your bow slightly up and to the right of your target for improved accuracy. The Stag Breaker weapon can damage enemies through walls, making its use particularly effective in dungeons and crypts. Pressing R will mount any currently equipped weapons or tools on your back, removing any movement penalty they may have been incurring. Press R again to re-equip those same weapons. Most enemies are weak to a particular type of damage such as pierce or blunt. Keep an eye on the color of the damage indicators to know what weapon is best against each creature. Gray means resistant, white means neutral, and yellow means effective. Middle mouse button can be used with some weapons to perform a special attack, usually taking longer to swing but resulting in a higher amount of damage. Sneaking behind enemies and attacking them while they are unaware of your presence will inflict bonus damage. Timing your block as soon as your enemy is about to strike will result in a parry, granted you have a strong enough shield. This staggers your enemy and hitting them in this state will inflict bonus damage. Trying to parry while too low on stamina will result in you getting staggered and taking damage. 
Dodge rolling provides iframes, mean that as long as you time it right, you'll always avoid the hit, even if you roll right into the attack. Seagulls provide feathers for arrows and are more often found at night or during storms rather than in the day. Seagulls are not alarmed by arrows, so if you miss a shot, you'll more than likely be able to try a couple more times. Having interior decoration in your house will increase the area's comfort level. Higher comfort levels result in an increased rested buff duration. Beziers serve as a replacement for campfires, providing the rested bonus and allowing the player to sleep. You can actually catch fish without a fishing rod. If there happens to be any fish in relatively shallow water, wait around for the tide to bring them in. When the tide eventually retreats, some fish may be left stranded in water shallow enough that you'll be able to just pick them up with the interact key. Foods and meads can be consumed while swimming. Drinking a stamina mead if out of stamina in the water could save your life. Beehives can hold a maximum of 4 honey each, so make sure to collect them when they're full. Some items such as yellow mushrooms can be placed on item stands and act as a source of light that doesn't need to be refueled. Draugr villages hold secret chests under the floor, most commonly found under floors beneath raven thrones. A butcher's knife is needed to kill tamed animals. Alternatively, you can turn on friendly fire and use any weapon. You can use the abyssal harpoon to transport tamed animals so long as friendly fire is turned on. If you accidentally begin crafting the wrong item at a workbench, click the same button again to cancel crafting. If you have loot that is sunk to the bottom of a river or a lake, build up a staircase to use as a diving platform. The higher you jump from, the deeper you will dive. And my very last tip for today, learn from your own experiences. I know, kind of absurd for me to say now, but it's true. Some of the most fun I've had in the game has come from going in blind, trying things and failing, and just learning as you go. Which is why I tried to keep any major spoilers or later game activities from being shown in this video. But nonetheless, there you have it. 50 plus of some of my most helpful tips to help you along your Valheim journey. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like and consider subscribing. Leave a comment letting us know which tip or trick was your favorite. And with that said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.